it's a huge tragedy in our time that we have so many women dying during childbirth and so many newborns dying. It's unnecessary. Imagine your mother's warm, warm heart as she whispers your love. Why should children of underserved communities become deprived? Every child deserves the same opportunity. Imagine tomorrow in the day All the friends you meet All the games you play Ooh. India has 650,000 villages where almost 70% of India lives and that is in excess of 700 million people. People make the assumption that India is now a very wealthy country and that that wealth is spread throughout the country. You do get a lot of wealth in the big cities, but then when you go to rural areas, there's a lot of poverty. So big extremes that still require support in helping to reduce the inequities there are in the country. The biggest health issue faced in Indian villages is access to services. Women give birth at home without a skilled provider with them. There is no place that's clean for the woman to give birth. The baby is not breastfed immediately, often left to get cold. Things as simple as having a clean blade to cut the cord. I would classify newborn deaths in India mostly as preventable deaths, which can be prevented by better awareness and simple known interventions. And Asha is an accredited social health activist. The ASHA worker is a really important part of the community. They are trained to help women and families and communities change the way they do childbirth so they do it safely. She helps them to get services, provides education for them. We met two ASHAs when we went to the village of Devpuri, Sashi and Mansa. As we started talking to Mansa, we discovered that she'd actually lost two children of her own. So she was incredibly motivated to do the work. Mansa is community, and therefore she is credible and acceptable. Mansa stood as a, a great role model to show that these things happened, and I learned, and I don't want you to have to suffer what I did. Really what we try to encourage women to do is to give birth in facilities whenever possible. And of course that all incurs expense to the family. Fathers have traditionally kept a distance. However, the purse strings are in the hands of the male member of the family. Bath came up with this campaign, which has now connected with 150,000 fathers of unborn children. So it's a letter from the unborn child to the father. And the child says, you know, my loving papa, I'm so looking forward to seeing you, but I want to have a safe birth. And you need to support my mother. You need to make sure she's healthy. You need to be saving money so that I can be born in a health center. It struck that note with fathers, and we have seen a lot of fathers actually championing that more males need to be involved. It's quite remarkable how such a, a simple thing can have such a profound impact on a family. A lot of times we encounter communities who are not aware that several diseases which their children encounter are vaccine preventable. So training of health workers to impart the correct information to communities on vaccine preventable diseases becomes critical and that is where PATH steps in.
We implemented a courier system whereby somebody else is bringing the vaccine and the supply to the village and it's there and ready for the nurse midwife so she can spend the whole day vaccinating children and doing health education. Without question, the immunization coverage through PATS project has improved from 36% fully immunized children to 54% over two years. Satish was a heartbreaker. He was a six-year-old boy. One day he got a fever and a few days later had gone blind. Thankfully, cases like Satish would be rare occurrences now. But cases like Satish remind us of the importance of not letting even the rarest of rare cases happen. I see a big difference. I do see that what we're trying to do is working. It would be a monumental shift if you could enact these changes all across India. I see the reality of my country, I see the reality of India, and I know somebody has to fix this. Some of us who have something to contribute need to take responsibility, need to take this on. If we can intervene at the right places with the right kinds of tools and programs to improve the lives of Indian women and children, we can change the face of global health.